I now understand the importance of education. Um, and that's a message that uh, Dr. Mandela has, has, has conveyed right from the beginning. Um, his love for children and education. Now I know that until we get the education aspect right, um, in whatever shape or form we takes, um, to get to, to get the country there um, is why I've I've made the shift. I now it's my number one focus. I'm I'm going into that sector to to make a difference in in a way that I that I can. Education was something that you know Mandela really emphasised when he uh, spoke about how it's an important tool to change to change the world, and I really strongly. Uh, believe that and I think in South Africa the unequal education opportunities uh, continue to really perpetuate that inequality that you know he fought he fought against so fiercely uh, while he was still with us um, and so I really carry that inspiration uh, with me. I think it's very hard to overestimate how much he has affected history I mean he really is somebody all you have to do is say the word Mandela, and people know what you're talking about in terms of somebody who suffered, who was brave, who stood up for what he believed in, who worked hard, who was determined to teach people to find common ground. He is somebody that just brings out the best in people and makes them wonder how they are behaving. I think Nelson Mandela's career, his life. His history is one of the great stories in modern American human history and an inspiration to anybody who believes in justice and decency, which is what he was all about. In this age of partisanship, of sectarianism, he should be a model for human beings understanding that we can get beyond that, that we have things that unite us as human beings that are much greater than the things that divide us as political parties or religions or countries. And he is still a beacon for that, that people need to pay attention to, and I'm afraid they're not paying enough attention to it. Of all the people that I've covered in more than 50 years of journalism, Nelson Mandela will always be in the top two or three in terms of being impressive, in terms of changing the world that he grew up in, and really presenting to the rest of the world an example of how it takes more than dignity to be a politician. It takes vision and compassion and empathy. One of my great regrets as a journalist and as a citizen of the world is that we don't have more Nelson Mandela's today. We as a global community need to understand that what Nelson Mandela stood for was the best of us all stood for demanding fairness, demanding a country live up to the best of its ideals, demanding that people be treated fairly with respect, and demanding that you can learn to love your enemies. So in some ways, Mandela's lesson for us all is how do you make a world better? How do you believe that change is really possible? When we despair, someone like Mandela lets us believe.